Good morning everybody and thank you for watching Shabby Chic Mama. Today I'm going to take you through step by step on how I'm going to transform this coffee table that I picked up from my recycle centre and I want to make it into a Shabby Chic French inspired table. So just keep watching, I'm going to take you through step by step and at the end I'll show you the finished product. So I picked this up from my recycle centre this morning. I've seen the potential in it. I've been after something table-like where it had that nice flat top where I could uh, transfer an image. Um, in this particular project, I've actually purchased a stencil that I'm going to stencil a uh, French script-like print across the top of it. So just keep watching and I'll take you through. Okay, so I now have the table ready for painting. The paint that I'll be using today is uh, by Porter's Paints. Now, I purchased this from Inspiration Paints here in Australia. Um, Inspiration Paints uh, stock Porter's Paints, which make chalk-like paint. So if you're after some chalk paint, any Sloan is really hard to get here in Australia. You can't buy it just off the shelf. Um, you do have to purchase online. So if you do want some chalk paint um, for my Australian friends, you, I recommend going to an Inspirations paint store and purchasing some Porter's paints. Um, there's a great range of colours. The colour that I'm actually using today is lamb's wool and I've used this quite a few times on other projects and I just love how um, the finish is. It's a great finish. So thumbs up to Porter's paints for finally bringing out a chalk now, paint. My aim today is to first of all coat the entire project in the lamb's wool chalk paint. Um, I'm going to keep the legs in the lamb's wool colour but on the top I'm going to use the chalk like paint as a base uh, coat for the top and then I'll actually uh, be using a old Torben's paint that I had in the colour black. So. The top will be black, but I'm using the chalk paint as the undercoat. So that's the best thing about um, using chalk paint is that there's no priming involved whatsoever. You can just grab your project, start painting straight over the top of it. I'll be using a roller today. I find that uh, with my projects, I find that I get a better finish using a roller. So I take a very small roller and use that uh, with the chalk paint and it tends to give a more professional finish. The thing that I absolutely love about chalk paint is how easy it is to take something that you thought had no potential and bring it back to life and it doesn't have to take hours. Uh, gone are the days where you have to put an undercoat, priming everything first, then adding your top coat. Chalk paint just straight over the top. And it gives such a professional finish that this is why I really am converted. I really, really love using chalk paint now. Um, and, and of course there is tutorials out there if you watch on YouTube on how you can make your own. So if you don't want the expense of buying it at the shop, just uh, jump online for a tutorial on how to make chalk paint. They're absolutely everywhere. I've tried it and I absolutely loved it. Um, but I do tend to just go for this Porter's Paints because it just gives out that more professional finish. Okay, so I'm just finishing off the first coat. I'm going to do two coats of the chalk paint and then we'll move on to painting the top black and adding okay, a stencil. so my second coat is done. I'm now going to coat the entire top of the piece in black and keep watching and I'm going to do probably two coats on the top there because I've just done one coat on the top as the undercoat with the chalk paint. So just keep watching and I'll show you how it turns out. I think black is such a wonderful colour, especially when you're going to use it as a backdrop when using stencils on top of the table. Um, you know, you can go with the traditional white um, but I just think when I'm trying to do, which you'll see in a moment, is the script method where it'll be an entire script on the top of the table and I just think the black background will just tie in beautifully. Okay, so I'm just about finished the first coat. I'm going to give a second coat 
and then I'm going to show you how we can add the stencil. Okay, so now it's time for the stencil. I got this lovely French script stencil off eBay and I'm going to go and I want to cover the entire piece in the script writing. So I'm just going to take you through step by step and we'll see how it turns out. Okay, so it's now time to stencil. I'm just basically using a uh, craft brush that I've just picked up. I've got quite a few of these lying around. And I tend to find that these actually work really, really well as a stencil brush. So I use uh, them on a few of my projects and it's just turned out really good. So any type of uh, craft brush um, that sort of has a wide head would work really well with it as well. So here it is guys, um, unfortunately I forgot to actually film uh, the process of me going through it but I'll just show you quickly, it was just a case of popping the stencil on top of the table with some masking tape and just taping it down and I'm using the colour lamb's wool still uh, in the chalk paint and I got to my brush and I just dabbed and then I just repeated the entire process over the okay, table. Guys, so it's now time to varnish. I've chosen this crystal coat um, matte varnish that I just got from my local spotlight store and I'm just going to give a clear coat completely over the entire piece in the matte varnish. So there it is guys, I finally finished. I'm so happy with the way it come. It's amazing how you can take something old and just with a stencil and some paint, how it can be transformed into something completely different. I so enjoyed doing this project. It did take me quite some time, but it was very well worth it. If you'd like to see more DIY videos of anything to do with French country decorating, please thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and I'll see you all next time.